missing parts. <laughs> hey, it worked. It's working. It still worked though. That's the Japanese. Shit. I'm gonna say Brock could take your howl. Brock could take your howl. Shy. Brock could throw Rakak with Dodge. All praises to your howl. Boss, show me how shy. Boss, show me Rakak with Dodge. You know we out here in Columbus, Ohio, the city of trash. Hey, you see your boy R. Kelly? You hear the story on him? Oh, no, I ain't hear nothing on that story. His brother came out and said he's a, a faggot. He's been spreading all kind of STD fucking dudes. I just said it's on BET this morning. So you know that's some real shit. I told you, so I never liked it. He do got a fag spirit. I believe you rock and fly. You seen that 19 long song that they made? R. Kelly? Yeah. He got that one song he's singing about the three little bears. His own brother said it. Right. You know if your own brother comes out and says some shit, this is bad. And everybody on the comment board is in denial. They're like, I don't believe it. It's not true. It's like they don't never want to believe Michael Jackson was, was a weirdo. I was one of them. I was like, man, Mike can't do it. You know, you was for years in denial, bro. You didn't want to believe Mike was doing that shit. But Jake's a fucking, fucking weirdo. These Israelites are weirdos, bro. They did some weird shit. Oh, what you got the ball hold up? He got all the boys. He got the Ralph Emerson out here. Hold on. Oh, the Ralph Emerson. They was in the trunk of the car and never even knew it. This is one. I thought somebody stole it. This is one of the first ones. I first started to learn this shit. I had this. This. I was And he got a documentary too. Oh, y'all got to get this book. And give me the other one too. That's a bad book. Both of them. Both of them is a bad book. This is right? an old classic right here. Hey, but take on the Hey, your boy got a, you seen his documentary he got on his book? Nah, it was on Google Video. You remember Google Video? Yeah. Back in the day. It's probably on YouTube now. You got that one. You got to get this too. That's that William Cooper right there, boy. He got killed in the shootout with the cops. William Cooper. It's a classic. We're picking up a lot of people, man. It's just they ain't coming. They think they don't have to come out, man. Oh, I got a scripture for that. I was reading this yesterday. Let me get it. My brother was telling us, man, how he their comments and shit, how, you know, they don't care if it's the truth or not. They, we, need, we just need to shut up. Well, you know what I mean? You know, do be breaking up everything from everybody. Hey. What's up, bro? Go ahead. What are you here? Uh, oh, not man. Just out here doing our thing. You know, what's up with you? Huh? <laughs> same old, same old. Same old, same old. What did you say? The uh, dude over there with the hat said he's working. You know what I'm saying? I had to see his face. Did he just walk over here? Yeah, I had to see his face. He looked at you. Bro, he's walking over right here. He's looking at you. I had to see his face. He got a little smirk and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? His head and shit. He tell the dude, you know what I'm saying? We, uh, we, uh, we the judges, we tell him the Lord. You know what I'm saying? What is that called? We accuse them to the Lord. That's why the Lord, look what they're doing. They're doing for being fucking demons and shit. That's right. They're going to bring judgment on that motherfucker. That's right. That's right. Here we go. Look at the scripture on that. Put to bring attention to them, you know? Put the, hey, that's what that's what we're doing. We, we're directing the angels to put attention to them motherfuckers we can have people, man. Right? He's shining the light on them. That's right. Bro, these people are trash. trash. Hey, you can see why the Lord said love not the world. Because the world, these people are trash, Easy. bro. You can easily see why they said that. Romans 15 and 17, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses, contrary to the doctrine which you have learned and avoid. For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh, but their own belly, 
Oh, and by good God. words and fair speeches, it seems to go to the center. Yeah, because these people out here, they just care about serving their own belly. They don't care about teaching the word of the Most High. They think that's a joke. You know what I mean? Sure. Like the Most High is a joke. Like the Most High just wants to put you to death. Like it ain't nothing. All right, but they think it's offensive. offensive. Oh, oh, what's that scripture? <laughs> offensive. I got one for that one. Hey, man, unbelievers is a motherfucker, man. Especially the ones that's claiming that they even say the name of the Lord. They unbelievers, too. There's a lot of them that's even they know the name of the Lord is called. It's just a new thing to them. It just sounds something deep, deep. So they, they accept that name because they sound different than everybody else. Not for no spiritual reason. For the, it's just for the truth or for the sake of the truth. You know yeah. what I mean? They just want to sound fly with some knowledge. Right. Yahweh, uh, Hashem, uh, Yahweh, Shai, Yashu. They, the only thing they like to say is Yashu Allah. Yeah. Swam well, Yashu Allah. <laughs> They'll say it all together. Swam well, Yashu Allah. Right, right. Swam Yashu Allah. Hey, y'all see Nate's on. Oh, yeah. That's a spirit of weakness. That's a spirit of death. That's a spirit of oh man, I can cry out. I'm talking about some crowds. Hey, let me read this scripture for you real quick. This is what you said. John 16 and 1. These things have I spoken unto you that you should not be offended. <laughs> yeah, most people get offended, don't they? Yeah. Like you said, people they be running their lips, speaking under their breath, under some bullshit. Mm -hmm. Truth hurts, man. Hey. That's the whole point why it hurts. It means to correct your sinful lands. It says, they shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. All these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father nor me. That's pretty much the point on that one, though. But yeah, like, people they were, they people thinking all kind of evil shit against us. They're like, oh, look at these fucking assholes out here on the street. Hey, hey, did they say something to the motherfuckers on the corner? Someone don't go. Hell no. They be like, what's up, son? Right, 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 right. They be like, how you been? What's up, family? Right. They call them family. They ain't say nothing about the politicians or the, or the judges or the police. They don't say shit about nothing to none of them. Right. Not a motherfucking thing. Because they don't know what right, uh, right or wrong is, man. They don't know what unrighteousness is. They ain't say shit about that whole on the street spreading her feet in on the they trying to get with her. Simple man. People are simple. And worth it. Yeah. What's that scripture? That's why. I don't see. I don't see why I handle that call. What's that? It's going. Useless eaters. <laughs> Shit, they call them consumers. Consumers. All they do is consume. This is also talking about the prophet. Like he just read, it was talking about the prophet Jeremiah. This right here is talking about what a lot, all the other prophets went through. It's the Hebrews uh, 11 and 36. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yea, more over of bonds and imprisonment. Or oh, like Jeremiah got locked up. Or oh, they locked up the apostle John on the Alapatmos. 
get a soul mine. Said they were stoned. They were sawn asunder. Were tempted. Were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and in goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented. I'll check this out. Of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and dens and caves of the earth. And all these having have obtained a good report through faith, receive not the promise. But the point was, it said the prophets, look, it said the world was not worthy of it. And you know, really, the world is not worthy of it. These motherfuckers just trash. Yeah. Yep. Especially, the funny thing is, we out here consistently every fucking week. You know? That's the most I just haven't blessed up of. Just giving them motherfuckers a chance, man. They're not worthy to hear this, man. You know, sometimes they be hearing them, them beautiful mysteries in their ear. It may go in one ear, not the other, but they still hear it, though. They, they ain't think worthy about to hear that them, shit, man. Yeah. You know, they ain't worthy, man. When they always constantly occupied and, and, and evil, their minds, they fuck them. I see what the man can call how he, how he feels and what he means, man. But like you said, that's how you can tell them. He gave them time. Yeah. That's how you know the most high is merciful. He should have been killed. Us too. So yep. Know. He opened up that neck. We the ones that was trying to put the end. Um, I got some right here. Uh, second Ezra. Second Ezra uh, 14 and 13. Uh, now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people. I'll reprove thy people. So we're commanded to reprove thy people. The Lord's people, Israel. It says, it says, comfort such as of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. And the world don't renounce corruption. That's us, that's how we do. We hate corruption. Right. We're always speaking out against it. Like what the scriptures say, they are, they're spiritually, they're spiritually discerned. <laughs> totally lost, man. These people, the world live just for their flesh, just for their lust. lust. Just to feel good. You know, just right. Just to feel good. But you know, most I said he's going before destruction, pride fall, you know. Pride falls before destruction. So what do they call them? Gay pride marks? Gay pride? Yeah, they call pride. That's right, gay pride. We'll kill all of them. Lesbians, homosexuals, transvestites, blasphemers, whores, adulterous ass women, adulterous ass niggas. Like, oh, I'm gone. Right. As soon as you talk bad about their beloved lesbians and homosexuals, they lose all faith in us. You notice that? You say you one. You mentioned certain shit. You, you mentioned one bad thing about a homosexual. Everybody turns on you. You got a bunch of weirdos out here, bro. What the fuck is wrong with y'all people? Enemies. They be at crusaders for STDs and homosexuals. I never understand. I do understand, actually. Yeah, you know, like our last video, we, we got uh, a strike on our channel now because we had a video where he said something bad about a homosexual. Oh, that's hate speech. That's fucking madness, bro. Y'all watch the preacher video, bro. Uh, that, actually, that video made me mad, actually. Cause I put, I gave it one of them catchy titles, Jehovah Witness Gets Destroyed. You know it got like 100 views, every other video got like 5 views. I hate that shit. I hate that, yeah. I was just testing it too, I'm gonna put a provocative title. Was he Jehovah Witness? Yeah. This is Renounce. That's crazy when you see some old people from back in the day. They're like, what you doing? Oh, I actually see that. 
I'm going to talk to you on the seat. Yeah. It's uh, Matthew 10. I said it not with It's Matthew 10, and uh, I'm starting. I'm starting. I love that chapter. That's what I live. Whatsoever city or town he shall enter, require who it, it is worthy. Oh, that's a go. You're right. It tells you that not everybody is worthy. And some people that have no worth. You know what I mean? And even the uh, pocket for some worthy wisdom is often lost for us. He said uh, wisdom goes around seeking who is worthy. Check it out. Okay. Let's see. And there abide there till he goes in. And when you come into a house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon you. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. Whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your words, when you depart the house or city, shake off the dust off your feet. Verily I say to you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and more in the day of judgment than for that city. Damn. <laughs> and Solomon Moore was burnt the fuck up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it was burnt the fuck up. They did a chemical test on that land, man. Mineral test and all that. And they found out that it was, it was like nuclear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They found out it was like nuclear, man. That land is still on the apple right now. You talking today. about Sodom? So, yeah. yeah. That's crazy, man. You know? So what's America's in, in, in trouble, man? And they said that smoke is going to go off forever, man. That means a very long time. You know, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. I'm going back to the second Ezra 14. Um, it says, and now renounce corruption. Let go from the mortal faults. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Right, you gotta put out that weak nature, because this world right here is trash. This little physical bodies is trash. 